What's up everyone? Today we're going to go over leak code 997, find the town judge. First, we're going to go over what the question is asking, then I'll talk about the approach, then I'll show you a visualization, and finally we'll look at the code and complexity. Now, the input is going to be an integer which represents the total number of people in the town and a 2D array of integers. So 1, 3, 2, 3, 4, 3 means that we have an edge going from 1 to 3, right? One node to 3 node. Similarly, we have other outgoing edges. So this is defined as a trust. Our job is to find the node such that everyone else trusts this node and this node trusts no one else. In other words, we want to find the node which has a in degree of all the other nodes and this particular node has no outgoing edges. In our case, the output is going to be 3. So we know the type of node that we're looking for. We know that any node which has an outgoing edge cannot be the town judge. So we can have a set of every single node that has an outgoing edge. So in our case, 1, 2, 4, and 5 all have outgoing edges. Simultaneously, we are going to collect the in degrees of each node. So the in degree for each one of these nodes is a different value, but only one of them is going to have an in degree of all the rest of the nodes. So one has no in degree, two has two in degrees, so on and so forth. Now let's look at a visualization. Before we begin processing, we're going to initialize our two data structures, a set to keep track of all the nodes that are outgoing, and a map to keep track of the in degrees for the nodes. So first, we're going to iterate through our trust, and we are going to add t of 0, which is the outgoing node, and we're going to increment our incoming node, and increment it by 1 every time we have an in degree. Once we're done with that, we simply go through the in degree and if the value for that corresponding node, meaning the in degree for that corresponding node, is n minus 1, then we might have potentially find, found our judge. And then all we have to do is check that that particular node has no outgoing edges. If so, we return. Otherwise, we return negative. Let's look at the space and time complexity. For the time complexity, we are first going through the number of edges and then we are going through potentially n nodes or almost n nodes. We don't know the exact input, but almost n nodes might be having an in degree of at least one, which we record. So we can add this one and this one and we get our time complexity. For the space complexity, the only two data structures we have are the out degree and the in degree. So no matter what, it's going to be the maximum of the number of nodes we have so that's why I put the space complexity as O of n. So that's how you solve Lee code 997, find the town judge. If you liked the video, please thumbs up. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe.